Systemic lupus erythematosus is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks its own tissues, causing widespread inflammation and tissue damage in the affected organs. It can affect the joints, skin, brain, lungs, kidneys, and blood vessels. There is no cure for lupus, but medical interventions and lifestyle changes can help control it. Lupus primarily affects women of childbearing age, female slash male ratio 9, 1, greater than 90% of cases. Women are usually in the childbearing age between 20 and 45 years old. Causes Inherited deficiencies of certain complement components increase the risk for developing SLE. Environmental triggers are important in exacerbating lupus or triggering its initial onset. Examples include infectious agents, Epstein-Barr virus, UV light, estrogen, and medications, for example, procainamide, hydrolazine. One of the factors associated with SLE is vitamin D deficiency. In SLE, the body's immune system produces antibodies against itself, particularly against proteins in the cell nucleus. These antibody attacks are the immediate cause of SLE. SLE is a chronic inflammatory disease believed to be a type 3 hypersensitivity response with potential type 2 involvement. Classic presentation in most cases of SLE is a triad of fever, joint pain, and rash in a woman of childbearing age. Constitutional symptoms include fatigue, most common, fever, arthralgia, and weight loss occur 90% to 95% of cases. Hematologic findings, 15% to 20% for each finding, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, leukopenia, neutropenia, and lymphopenia. Lymphopenia is a good guide to disease activity, bad sign. Lymphatic findings include generalized painful lymphadenopathy and splenomegaly. Musculoskeletal findings, 80% to 90% arthralgia, joint pain, not inflammation, is one of the most common initial complaints. Morning stiffness in the hands is particularly common. Skin and mucocutaneous findings, 80% to 90%. Butterfly-shaped malar rash over the cheeks and bridge of the nose with sparing of the nasolabial folds is a very characteristic sign of SLE and its subtypes. Erythematous lesions also commonly involve the dorsum of the hands and fingers and also the skin between the joints rather than over the joints. Ultraviolet light exposure either initiates or exacerbates the rash. Discoid lupus, 25%, is a chronic, plaque-like rash that often develops in sun-exposed areas. Plaque is defined as a solid, raised, flat-topped lesion that is greater than 1 cm in diameter. Arthritis inflammatory joint disease, most common sites are the proximal interphalangeal PIP and metacarpophalangeal joints, MCP, in both hands and the wrists. Usually symmetric, non-erosive, and non-deforming, unlike rheumatoid arthritis, which is deforming. Other findings that may occur include avascular, aseptic, necrosis, osteoporosis, loss of organic bone matrix and mineralized bone, from long-term corticosteroid therapy, and myositis, muscle inflammation. Renal findings, 40% to 60%, kidney is the most common visceral organ involved in SLE. Diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis is the most common and severe glomerular disease. Cardiovascular findings, fibrinous pericarditis, sericitis, with or without effusion is the most common. Cardiac finding, 50% to 70%. Diagnosis, Antinuclear antibody, ANA, testing and anti-extractable nuclear antigen, anti-ENA, form the mainstay of serologic testing for SLE. If ANA is negative, the disease can be ruled out. Anti-Smith antibodies, used to confirm the diagnosis of SLE, 99% specificity, rare false positives, decreased sensitivity, 20% in the white population and 30% to 40% in the black and Asian population. Not a good screening test. Anti-Rho SSA antibodies and Antilla SSB antibodies have a low sensitivity, 26%. 
50% and 5% to 15%, respectively, and a low specificity. Anti-Rho SSA has a sensitivity of greater than 95% in diagnosing neonatal heart block. Prognosis. Overall 10-year survival is 85% to 90%. Improved survival due to advances in diagnosis and treatment. Most common, MC, causes of death in SLE. Cardiovascular disease, 30% to 40%. Lupus glomerulonephritis, CNS lupus, vasculitis, and pneumonitis, most lethal. Conditions, 35%. Infection due to immunosuppression therapy, 25% of all deaths. Malignancy, 5% to 10%. Human papillomavirus related, cervical cancer, and malignant lymphoma. Treatment. Treatment depends on the type and severity of the condition. The majority of the autoimmune diseases are chronic and there is no definitive cure, but symptoms can be alleviated and controlled with treatment. Additional treatment options may include immunosuppressant drugs to weaken the overall immune response, such as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, to reduce inflammation, glucocorticoids to reduce inflammation, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DMARDs, to decrease the damaging tissue and organ effects of the inflammatory autoimmune response. Other standard treatment methods include vitamin or hormone supplements for what the body is lacking due to the disease, insulin, vitamin B12, thyroid hormone, etc. Blood transfusions if the disease is blood-related, Physical therapy if the disease impacts bones, joints, or muscles. Common questions. Can a woman with SLE have a healthy pregnancy? Women with lupus can safely get pregnant and most will have normal pregnancies and healthy babies. However, all women with lupus who get pregnant are considered to have a high-risk pregnancy. Can a person die from SLE? Causes of premature death associated with SLE are mainly active disease, organ failure, for example, kidneys, infection, or cardiovascular disease from accelerated atherosclerosis. In a large international SLE cohort with average follow-up of over eight years during a 1958 to 2001 observation interval, observed deaths were much higher than expected for all causes, and in particular for circulatory disease, infections, renal disease, and some cancers. Those who were female, younger, and had SLE of short duration were at higher risk of SLE-associated mortality.